The crude oil flowed into the Gulf for 87 days. 207 million gallons of crude flowed into the wetlands from the wellhead. 172 million gallons were released into the environment. 35 million gallons were captured by two ships that they put out there. One captured the oil and burned off the gas. The second ship they put out captured the oil and gas and burned it all off. So how much crude oil is remaining in the environment? The estimate was 53 million gallons in mid-September of 2010. First of all, we think this is a very underestimation. But let's just assume we looked at the 53 million gallons that are left in mid-September. That's more than four times the total volume of the Exxon Valdez remaining in the environment in mid-September. So we've done recent monitoring and sampling all along the coast. We've, my knights in shining armor, Paul Orr and Michael Orr, take out the boat. I went out a large number of times initially and then they've taken over. The temperature was 100 degrees when we left the dock in the morning. It was a wonderful situation. We've sampled from the Birdfoot area at the mouth of the Mississippi, Timbalier, Terrebonne Bay, and Atchafalaya Bay to demonstrate, one, the presence of the crude oil in the marshes and wetlands, and to assess the tissue, aquatic tissue. We've looked at oil and dead birds, mammals, aquatic organisms. They're spread all along the wetlands and beaches. You saw just tons of pictures of these things, and yet they're trying to tell us there's not much oil left. Paul? So when we look at the wetlands and ecosystems, we sample the sediment. We sample for alkylated polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons which are known and suspected to cause cancer. We found six to 89 of these polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons and the fingerprint matched the PAH fingerprint of the BP crude. We looked at oil range organics and there was as much as 1% oil range organics and the oil range organics basically encompass the material in the crude oil. So the fingerprint matched BP in the soil and sediment. 60% of the soil sediment samples had up to 18 PAHs in excess of the marine sediment screening level. And these were areas that no one was looking to do any cleanup or remediation. Arsenic also exceeded the marine sediment screening levels. And all of the areas sampled had soil sediments contaminated with alkylated PAHs and oil range organic petroleum hydrocarbons. Paul? 